Tonight on Real Ghost Stories Online, they took a road trip to an abandoned haunted building. They're going to meet their friends at a staircase. Well, they made it to the staircase, but couldn't find their friends anywhere. Where did they go? Welcome to Real Ghost Stories Online. Call in your real ghost story now at 855-853-4802 or write in at realghoststoriesonline.com. You are about to enter the world of the unknown and quite possibly the undead. This is Real Ghost Stories Online. That it is. And uh, 855-853-4802 is our phone number. To share your real ghost stories with us, we'd love to hear them. Of course, you can write in at realghoststoriesonline.com. And if you want access to all the advanced episodes, everything ad-free, you can get that through Apple Podcasts and our premium channel there or patreon.com slash realghoststories. Tony and Todd with you on today's episode. Let's uh, let's dive into this abandoned building ghost story. I always like abandoned ones. Let's hear Here, what. Let's uh, go. Let's see what happened. Hi, this is Marlise. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and um, I guess first of all, I just want to say how much I love y'all's show, and hopefully, um, the story that I tell you might make it on the air, and I can hear it sometime. And um, I have a few other stories I'll call back later and maybe tell you guys, but. Basically, the story that I have is um, from a couple years ago in my early 20s. I was dating a guy, um, and him and his friends kept telling me we like to tell each other ghost stories and things like that. So they kept telling me how we needed to go out to this place in Sherman, Texas, which is about an hour and a half drive north of Dallas, um, right on like the Texas-Oklahoma border. And um, I guess this building has been a lot of different things from an orphanage to an asylum. Um, and apparently a lot of things have happened there. But anyways, we um, all decided one night to go out there really late at night. We took this drive and you have to park in a um, kind of run down apartment building and go through a fence. And I mean, basically it's trespassing you're not supposed to be there but we're young we do it um we get there and i know that they've been there before it's um me my boyfriend um another girl and two other guys and so basically you walk up and it's this huge brick building um you know if you've seen pictures of old hospitals um picture that and um it's this big building. It also has another building off the side where apparently there are underground tunnels that connect to it. And um, anyways, we get up to the front door and we start talking. And like I said, they've been there before and they tell us, okay, well, you and Amanda, which is the other girl, um, why don't you walk through the house and meet us, go up the stairs and meet us up at the other side where there is kind of like a, I guess maybe it was, it was like a fire escape, um, but basically it was out, an outdoor staircase with a door where you could go out to the outside. Um, so anyways, we are a little bit scared, but, you know, we want to show that we're brave. So we're like, okay, well, yeah, we'll meet you there. All we have to do is just walk through this house and of course, we start um, through the doorway, and immediately when I walk through the doorway, I just feel this enormous pressure. Um, I don't know what it was. It wasn't to the point that I couldn't breathe. The air just felt immediately thicker. So Amanda and I start walking through um, the doorway, We go through the house. Of course, it's creepy. We hear noises, but we're kind of just freaking ourselves out. We find the staircase up to the second floor. And like they had told us, you go up the staircase, you're going to make a left, you'll go through a room, and you'll see the door to go to the outside. Um, They had told us, you know, we'll be waiting at the door, just let us inside, and then we'll, you know, go walk around and explore more. Well, when we find the door... We open the door, and no one's there. So we're like, huh, that's weird. Like, it would have literally taken them 30 seconds to go up the stairs and wait for us at the door. Why wouldn't they be here? Um, 
So we're like, okay, well, why don't we just, you know, wait just a little bit more. Maybe they found something cool and they're looking at it, whatever. So about five minutes go by and um, of course, you know, we're standing in this creepy building. So we're freaking ourselves out more and we're like, all right, well, this is weird. Like what happened? Um, so we walk outside, go down the outdoor staircase, walk all around the building. We're calling their names. We don't know where they are. Um, at this point, we're like, really, what is going on? We're kind of upset because we, we don't understand why they wouldn't be there. So again, we walk around outside. We can't find them, can't find them. So you know, we're like, let's just go back to the car. So we make our way back to the car and we find them sitting there and we're like, Hey, like what went on? We went through the house. We waited at the staircase. You weren't there. Um, by this time, you know, they're kind of freaked out as well. And they're like, we waited at the staircase for you for literally 20 minutes and you never came. And so just, it was like, both of us were like, what, you know, we, we had been there for about what we thought was five minutes. And they're saying that we had been, they had been there standing there 20 minutes. So basically that's my story. They, they swore up and down, they waited there. So I don't know if it was some sort of like time warp portal thing that we were stuck in. Um, but we never met each other at the staircase and both parties swore that they were there. So Again, that's my story. I hope maybe I'll hear it on air. And um, love your show. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for sharing that uh, experience with us. What do you think went on there? Were they both were thinking they were at the same place and they weren't? Could it be that there was two staircases or was something else? You know, I don't know. I mean, it, it could fall into so many categories. It could be that one group was trying to play a prank on the other one. It could be that they were both in different locations or, you know, maybe there is some sort of like time and place shift of, I don't know, like that. That's just a weird, weird little story. It very much is. We've, I've heard once before where people have seen homes that were there and that are abandoned and then they come back like the next day and it's gone. And it's not just like, oh, it got torn down. There's no sign that it ever was there or there's a foundation that clearly was not just knocked down the day before kind of that whole space time shift that we hear of now and then creepy story. Yeah, I, I, I'm sometimes they're, they're calling it now like a glitch in the matrix is mm -hmm. what they're calling it now. So if something's weird like that, where something was there and all of a sudden it's gone or whatever, there's like some sort of glitch in the matrix. Not sure what that means. Yeah. I'm not sure if Keanu Reeves shows up and like does something with it or, or what, what's going on there people just start collapsing in weird random ways at lana del rey concerts <laughs> that's right. what happens <laughs> did you did you see that video which one the lana del rey concert where everybody oh, started please. what yeah. was that that was weird i i don't know and there's so many little things like that that are popping up now yeah. you know and I don't know what to believe anymore. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm, I'm usually could, pretty good at seeing something or reading something, going mm, eh, that just seems a little off, you know, and, yeah. and not buying into everything. But I don't even know what to think about that at all. I don't either. I'm like, well, was it like a big gust of wind or something? And everybody, I don't know. It was very, very strange to watch because you also can't. And I'm not saying it's witchy or the devil i don't know i don't know what the hell it is it just right. was weird the way it started and the way it ended because it, it wasn't like a like a bowling pin effect where there's like one and then it kind of spreads out it's like a huge line all at once kind of went down and then it just spread against everybody else but you, there's no real reason it seems as to why that even i don't know it was bizarre i don't know what to make of it but yeah. we're all going to hell in a handbasket that's what it is so much of these weird things right now i don't even know anymore yeah uh, <laughs> right so I, it's like every day it's like i don't know whatever uh anyway uh if you uh like the show you want access to the bonus episodes advanced episodes and everything ad free check out our channel on apple Podcasts and get signed up there or go to patreon.com slash real ghost stories to get hooked up with all those extras right there. And thank you for that support. Until next time, for Todd, I'm Tony. Thanks for listening to Real Ghost Stories Online.